If you've got a small courtyard or even a large balcony at home, can you set up an HF transmitting station? Well, let's give this a go. I've got a table, uh, a table just for a backyard and a few chairs. Anyway, it's conveniently got a hole in the middle of it. I've got a umbrella stand, uh, useful for shade shelters. And anyway, that, that's quite heavy. I've got a squid pole. It is small enough to fit in here. So the idea is that I will have this and have the, it poking through the hole in the table. And then to provide a bit of a counterpoise, I've got this fly wire, possibly from an old fly screen door. Anyway, I've attached a wire to it. There are two pieces of printed circuit board facing one another. Anyway, I've sanded the, um, the wire mesh and it is making contact with, with all the wires here. So that provides a bit of a counterpoise to the vertical antenna that I'm going to use. As far as the length, all well, this is five meters of wire, which makes it a half wavelength on 28 megahertz, a quarter wavelength on 14 megahertz, and with an L-match antenna coupler, it should work on all bands in between, maybe even a bit lower. Just used a piece of plastic, it is flexible. It could be from a margarine container lid or similar, and that allows the antenna wire to be mounted to the top of the telescoping pole. Just got the screen going over the rear half of the table. In front of it is the transceiver. It's nearly a meter above the ground. Having a listen, bit of activity on 21, not so much on 18, 14 is quite good, and before heard a bit on 10. So we'll go for 21, it being early in the afternoon around 2 or 2.30 p.m. I have the Android phone set up. People always ask me this whenever I do a video on FT8, so I'll answer it right now. The software is FT8CN. I've previously done a review video on it, but it's a free download and it allows you to transmit and receive FT8 signals with an Android mobile phone with the audio coupled into a Vox enabled transceiver on upper sideband. The backyard table station's now set up. Transmitting FT8 on 21 megahertz. I'll let you know if I get any replies. Meanwhile, I'll go out and rebuild my main HF antenna, which has been down for about six months. Looks like there's a call. From the Azores. Don't immediately have an exchange. I'll let you know if it succeeds or not. And yes, there is a completed contact. And after a few minutes on the air only, the signals already cross the Pacific. I've been backwards and forwards doing work on the antenna 
coming back to check the FT8 changing bands a few times but overall 21 megahertz was definitely the best band as well as the first contact to CU7MD ZL UA VK6 VA7 that's Canada then after I changed to 17 meters IT9MRM Italy so not a huge amount of contacts but some good distances and noting this is very much a compromise antenna not much of a counterpoise and it's very much amongst suburbia um, there's trees neighbors all around if I had this base elevated so that it was maybe five or six meters above the ground and some radials I think the performance would be a lot better to summarize if you want a quickly set up backyard station just get a table an umbrella stand a telescoping pole some wire some fly screen an L match antenna coupler a transceiver a cable and a mobile phone and you too can be on air making exchanges all over the world do you want to get the most from your portable QRP operating good antennas is a great place to start find out how I succeed with my two books hand carried QRP antennas and more hand carried QRP antennas the big sellers with favorable reviews from all around the world to learn more visit vk3ye.com or search the titles on Amazon